Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is me, Shani Shuma. And today I'm gonna show you a delicious Bengali recipe named Ilshabish Pulao, which is Bangla bola hoy Ilish Pulao. So let's start it to this video. To make ilsha fish pulao, first you need to cook ilsha fishes and the spices you need to cook ilsha fish, they are half cup of onion paste, I blend them in the blender and then you need ghee, half cup of yogurt and you also gonna need ginger and garlic paste. In a large non-stick pan, first I am taking 2 teaspoon of ghee. If you don't like to use ghee, then you can use suave oil too. Let the ghee boil. When the ghee start boiling, I am gonna add our spices. First, I am adding half cup of onion paste. I blend it in blender. Next, I am adding... 2 tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste. Next I am adding half cup of yogurt. My yogurt is looking little bit watery because I refrigerated it in deep freeze that's why mix the all ingredients and now i will cover it with the lid and then i will wait for until the water of this spice goes dry okay you can see water of it has dried up now i'm adding salt in it after that, I will add a um, little bit more ghee like half teaspoon and little bit suave oil into it to fry it. You have, you have to fry it until the color of it goes reddish. Fry it very well. Okay, my spice got fry. Now I'm gonna add water into it. The amount of water should be given in such a way that the fish becomes boiled. Again, I am covering it with a lid and then I will stay 1 to 2 minutes until the water is starting boiling. Okay, you can see the water start boiling and now I am gonna add my ilsha fishes into it one by one. You have to put it carefully. Checking the salt of it. Okay, it's okay. No need to add more salt in it. Now, now I am covering it again and you have to cook it in medium flame. So I am reducing the flame and I will come back after 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, I am checking my Isha fish curry and in that point, I'm gonna add five to six green chili into it. Okay, and don't try to flip your fishes with a spoon because it can break your fishes. So what you are going to do, you're going to 
shake the whole ball like that shake the ball and then cover it up again and cook it again for five minutes okay I'm I will come back after five minutes ilsha fish has been cooked and now I'm going to separate the ilsha fishes from its broth and going to use that broth machet jhol in our pulao I'm separating the ilsha fishes and there is the jhol now I'm going to cook the pulao to cook the pulao here I have taken four cloth three cardamom three cinnamon and two bay leaf and you also gonna need some crushed onions take a large ball and then heat the ball little bit after that add two teaspoon of suave oil and two teaspoon of ghee into the pan let it boil when it become boiled add the dry spices into it fry it for one minute after that add half cup pieces of onion into it fry the onion very well fry it until the onion become golden brown in color add a little bit salt into it salt help to fry the onion quickly my onion become golden brown in color and now i am adding 2 tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste fry it for 2 to 3 minute and after that we will add the broth of our ilsha fish ilsha macher je jhol ta amra rekhe diyechhilam seta amra ekhane add kore debo now i am adding the broth of ilsha fish into it macher je jhol ta amra alada kore rekhechhilam seta amra ekhon ei moshlar moddhe pula ranna kora moshlar moddhe diye dicchi adding a little bit water into it to avoid the burning of our spices moshlata jate pore na jay ejon ami kichu ta pani diye dilam karon ami ekhane tel ghee kom use korechi now i'm going to add the rice i'm using basmati rice like 1 kg after washing the rice i put the rice into the strainer to take out the water from it after adding the rice mix the all ingredients very well and then fry the rice like two to three minutes so well and then we are going to add water into the rice you have to add hot water into it here i am measuring my hot water with this big cup always measure your rice and water with the same cup i took four cup of rice with this cup so i'm going to now double it that means i have to take eight cup of water because i took four cup of rice with it if you take two cup of rice then you have to take four cup of water here i'm taking seven cup of water and i'm going to add one cup of milk if you don't like to add milk then you have to add 8 cup of water here i'm taking half cup of milk to make it one cup now i'm going to add a little bit more water and make it one cup so here i am i put one cup of milk and seven cup of water total 
8 cup of water in 4 cup of rice. When the water start boiling, you have to reduce the flame of your fire. You have to cook the rice in the lowest flame. Cover the vessel with a lid and wait for 10 minutes. After that, your pulao will be cooked. My pulao is cooked and now from top of it, I am removing some pulao into a another plate or bowl. After removing some pulao from it, I am going to place my Cook it Ilsha fishes into this pulao. Here it is. I placed the cooked Ilsha fishes into it. And now I'm going to put the rice on it. Put the pulao in it and level it up. Again cover it up only for 5 minutes so that the aroma of Hilsha fishes is spread all over the rice or pulao and then you are ready to serve your Ilish pulao. Thanks for watching this video and actually I was not prepared for this video. I did this Ilish Pula for one of my guests so I thought why don't I shoot it and share it with you how I cook Ilish Pula and so if I have any mistake if I did any mistake please forgive me and if you like this video if, uh, if you enjoy this video if it is helpful then please give a like and subscribe my channel if you don't subscribe yet and if you like to see this kind of cooking video then comment below i will share my cooking experience with you thanks for watching this video once again love you all